Hello, my very dear internet friends, and welcome to the Sierra Nevada map, where I'm going to build, uh, where I have built, but um, I'm showing you now how I built a winter ski resort with dinosaurs. Well, now you're going to ask yourself or me, wait, what ski resort we have we what is happening and yes we don't have ski uh, slopes or lifts or anything of that sort uh, this is one of those park bills that demands a little bit of imagination <laughs> because of course we don't have anything like that i'm going to use the zip lines as pretend lifts and I'm just using the terrain paints and elevation tools to create slopes. Um, yeah, and I'm just pretending that people are using those, which they aren't, but I can do, I, I can use it uh, as a slope when I'm doing the tour and I have tried it already. It's pretty fun. So uh, I think this works. At least for my, in my mind, this works. So, uh, but let's talk about this build. Um, I thought this was going to be a small, fast thing, um, but it took me, I don't know how long it took me exactly. I have 18 hours of recorded footage of this. And I don't know why. It's not that detailed and it's, it's insane. I have... Uh, uh, in this episode alone, uh, deleted quite uh, a lot of this footage from the video because uh, it seems like I had temporarily lost my mind and didn't know how to play the game and done things that didn't make any sense and deleted all and repeated the same thing and stuff. I don't know what happened to me during this build. So maybe it's going to turn out a video that uh, uh, a, be, a speed uh, building uh, dingsies, um, a series that isn't as long as the autumn uh, series was, I'm hoping so. Uh, but uh, uh, let's talk about this build. I'm so sorry. What you saw me doing earlier was using the bias and lights with orange coloring as pretend uh, heat lamps because we need those. Uh, in winter, and I don't know what uh, what's the what the weather typical weather conditions over the ye whole year are in uh, the Sierra Nevada um, but I'm pretending that this is a park that is open the whole year and uh, it, they have summertime there it's not always snowy and so this park looks on some occasions a little empty because well some of those decorations were brought inside to be um, secured from the elements um, here I'm building a little outdoor exhibition, uh, which is uh, just probably a replica of a real skeleton and rocks. So there's nothing to break here. Everything's fine. And I'm adding, yeah, uh, signs to pretend that they ser serve information to the people uh, yeah uh, but apart from that I'm I'm using planters because those planters we have in the game are really tall and look really heavy so I figure those were uh, not meant to be moved uh, in between seasons or something so I'm using those but I'm leaving some spaces really sparsely decorated because I just pretend that, uh, yeah, they brought some planters and stuff inside uh, because, yeah, that's just what I'm pretending. <laughs> 
And I'm lo I'm using a lot of those heat lamps, which are in my head also something that is going to disappear in the summer months because they are not needed anymore. So they are something completely different than a light. And he then I went on to uh, uh, change the elevation here because I, I wanted this to be a ski resort. So we needed a mountain. And... Um, I built the the entry point at the into this nook in in this map uh, because I felt from that point we could have the most effective view on the whole map. So um, I figured the mountain top or the summit or the peak has to be on the opposite side and so I did that and what I discovered during this uh, process of creating mountains and different elevation levels which in between that apparently on this map um, I can manipulate the terrain elevation outside of the map border which means that I can lower the ground See this? Isn't this fascinating? I suppose that this is a bug because it doesn't work. I have this on another map. I don't remember which one it was. Mm, but this doesn't work uh, on all maps. I think it's a bug, but I think it should be a feature because this is pretty awesome. You, I, I mean, you lose so much space if you elevate or lower the terrain uh, at the border because of terrain constraints and with this this just wasn't an issue which is pretty awesome if you ask me um anyhow and now that i had created all those different levels i went on to um, introduce a small enclosure to greet the guests and uh, to create a platform from which the the guests could take a good look at everything that I laid down. I'm checking the view here. Uh, I want them to see what's awaiting them. So I lowered the ground in front of it so they could really see all the layers from the entry. And here I'm babbling about me thinking about the view for the guests when they enter this park and then this is where I partly lost my mind for the first time. Uh, and then I just place a viewing gallery and fences. But this is this just, uh, I'm deleting those later <laughs> uh, to do something even more insane. Uh, this isn't insane, I know, but I remember that I was thinking, I got to keep the view in mind. I really want to keep this open and so that everyone can see the whole ski resort that is lying in front of them. And then I put this up. I don't understand myself during this build. Okay, um, and as you saw, I'm using terrain paints because... Well, I know one could argue that you don't see any difference between the terrain paints, but I'm still using them because I think in the first person mode and even outside of it but while building, you see a little difference. But when you're really close, you can see a lot of difference. And I just wanted to do it. I thought this was maybe the little extra cherry on top of the whipped cream <laughs> so uh, I did it and um, I think I think it does a little bit of something so yeah this is how I where I checked the view and then I realized Ugh, I don't want this fence here and actually I didn't want a viewing gallery here also, so I'm deleting this and I checked if I could use the wall pieces to line this uh, enclosure which I then did and I alternated between those small lights and the wall pieces because I think they work really well together and during this process I lost my mind for a second time because right 
there, when I got to the end, I realized it didn't work out with the fence length and the length of this wall that I created. And instead of deleting the fence, uh, I started going on with the decorations. And of course, I couldn't make it fit with the other side of the wall because it wasn't a square but uh, one side was longer than the other when, because I ended at this angle and it was a nightmare. And I don't know why I did this. I was stupid and it took a really long time to build this thing. And I didn't want to go through, uh, uh, to, to make you go through this. So um, I just showed you the result. And here I'm uh, creating my first uh, two ski slopes. Now, um, my skiing experiences are very dated. Um, I think it has been at least, let's say, I, I say 20 years since I have been on a ski trip. <laughs> yes, I'm old. Oh. So I don't know if this looks anything like ski resorts are looking nowadays. Um, but I remember that at least in Europe, you have those different colors that indicate the, uh, the level of difficulty for those slopes. And red is... I don't have... I'm using our flags here. And we have red which is kind of medium uh, difficulty. Um, or let's go with the Jurassic, <laughs> Jurassic, uh, Jurassic terms. It's uh, um, black is Jurassic, red is hard, blue I think is medium and green is like super easy. And uh, <laughs> since we don't have black, I didn't, and I didn't want to cre create crazy difficult um, ski slopes here. It was actually just uh, supposed to be a nice a skiing time while, uh, yeah, riding uh, skiing uh, past uh, dinosaur enclosures, which I started creating there. The next one, and I'm lining the the slopes with rocks and stuff so you can really see um, where it's supposed to be, the slope I mean, uh, because if I just added yeah, snow and rock texture, that wouldn't be enough. Uh, trees, I feel, are okay, but with the rocks, it really changes it. It really gives you the feel of, uh, yeah, a border of some sort. And um, yeah, this anyhow, I add these buildings next to the uh, uh, to the zip lines, as you saw. And of course, they go only in one direction because it looks very strange if uh, they you swap the direction for one. So I sticked with two at the same direction and they are our pretend lift and next to them I always placed um, a security shelter or uh, guest uh, guest restrooms because uh, just to pretend that those are the little um, I don't know there's always a little cabin where someone's sitting down and controlling the lift and everything works and it's the machine room let's say um yeah that uh, that's all i have to say about lifts here i'm creating a little nest um and it is a t-rex nest because i populated this uh, enclosure with two fluffy rexes and a few morris intrepidus that are their babies and i figured those two, especially with the fluffy rex, go really well together. But I also like using them um, for the unfluffy rexes because I'm just really fine pretending that the babies still have their 
äh, Baby Plumage, Plumage. <lacht> Whatever the word is. Yeah, so I'm creating this nest and I guess um, those eggs didn't hatch because it was too cold or something. Um, yeah, and um, it's really hidden. Um, you can't really see it from any of the uh, viewing platforms or galleries I'm going to place, I think. Or maybe they. I will have a zip line later on in some later episodes that is going over this I don't remember uh, but I think that's pretty realistic they wouldn't want to put their nest somewhere uh, all in the open I figure they want to be somewhere where they feel secure and safe so I don't mind that the people can't see it I know it's there so that's why I put it there <laughs> Uh, but still, I'm adding a viewing gallery um, at this uh, little platform here where our first ski slopes lead to so that guests actually have a reason to go there. Even though, you know, I think the view is already pretty good. And then I, of course, add amenities to this little plaza that uh, came to be. Um, yeah, because parks, you know, and um, I went to then decorate uh, this enclosure for the Rexes with lots of rocks. Many rocks. Oh, hello, there she is. And I think I saw Morris and Trepidus running in the distance. But they are so small, you can't really see them. Oh, and uh, this is funny. One of, them, one of the Rexes phased through, uh, through, the, um, through the fence and you can see it running in the distance. Uh, I haven't noticed before that I could have seen it before. But it's going to take a long time until I realize that it's there. But you see it all the time. That's funny. Yeah, um, uh, rocks. What can I say? I placed rocks and uh, I'm really annoyed about the snow. I mean, it's cute that if you place something, the snow puffs up. But it's at the same time really annoying especially uh, when you're placing like tables and chairs or lights or something and you want to put them really close together. You really have to wait until they clear there. I realized that the Rexes uh, had a uh, face through the walls. And what am I doing now? Oh, I'm, ra I'm creating two more lifts and I even think two more slopes. But it's all the same principle and at one point I just went to uh, weave a web of lifts uh, or um, zip lines through the park um, to the top of the mountain. And I think this, uh, I, we, I mean... You can see that it's not a lift, but if you squint and you don't look that close, uh, it actually looks like this could be some lifts and I like it. Here I'm checking the view because I wanted to have uh, trees there, um, but of course I wanted the people to be able to look over them so I couldn't have them climb up this uh, cliff uh, canyon I had created. And this is another sl uh, ski slope that is going down there and I always at least most of the time I include two different uh, levels of difficulty Le di yeah I use the red flags mostly with uh, some blue ones and then I introduced the system that uh, green slopes always 
are um, including a view into an exhibit. So um, red is hard, blue is easier, and green is always easy with a view. So I think that's the one that I would always take. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted the people to have a, cho uh, have a choice, you know? So that's that. I'm flanking those with those flags. Also, I have the day-night circle turned on because I like uh, building with the day-night circle on. But I'm realizing now that it's really bad for making videos. So at one point during this build, I have turned it off again. And that's it for today. Um, this is what I have built and I hope you like this and if you do um, make sure to subscribe and leave a like or a comment and thank you for watching bye